simultaneous equations. Now, this is a very simple simultaneous equations question. This is the kind of thing you'd have tackled at GCSE as a grade B topic. Now, remember, because these are both linear, because they don't contain any x squared, there's only going to be one set of values where these two equations meet, intersect, and satisfy both the top one and the bottom one. Now, if you remember from your days at GCSE, you need to change one of these so that both are the same. Either so that both the y coefficients are the same, or so both the x coefficients are the same. Now, I don't know why. I always like to make the second variable the same. So, I'm going to times this top one, number one. I'm going to times number one by two. And I'm going to times number two by seven. Now, the reason I've picked these numbers is because I know both seven and two go into 14. So I've got to multiply the whole of this top one by 2 to get the 7 to 14. And I've got to multiply the whole of the second one by 7 to get that 2 equal to 14. So our two new equations are going to be 10x plus 14y equals 38. And we're going to have 21x plus 14y equals 49. Now we've got both the y components the same, so they've both got a coefficient of 14. We can now eliminate them by, because they're both add, we're going to subtract them. Now if you had one which was a positive and one a negative, you would add the two together. But because they're both the same, you subtract. Okay, so the rule is, the same you subtract, different you add. The same you subtract, different you add. So, so that we don't go into negative numbers on this, I'm going to do for bottom one, which I'm going to call number four, minus number three. If I do it the other way around, I'm going to end up in negative numbers. So, we're going to do four, take away three. So, Here we go. 21x take away 10x is 11x. And 49 take away 38 happens to be 11. So x is equal to 1. Now to find out what the y component is, we need to substitute x into 1, either into equation number 1 or equation number 2. I'm going to pick number 2. So sub x equals 1 into number 2. So, we're going to have 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 2y equals 7. So, you work through that, you'll find that 2y two, uh, two is equal to 4, so y is equal to 2. Now, make sure that you check your solution by trying it in the other equation, because it should satisfy both equations. So when x equals 1 and y equals 2, those two lines should intersect.